Hello everyone, my name is Akuma Sinjan and I'm pursuing my BBA fifth semester at Tetsu College, India. And hi, I am Izzy Dinegya from Bicom third semester, also from Tetsu College, India. Today, I'm just very pleased to be very happy out for an interview with an amazing case to know more about the knowledge of women entrepreneur, empowerment, and sustainability. So let's get going. We are here now at the Clubhouse Boutique to find out who that really mesmerizing woman entrepreneur is. Hello ma'am, despite being so busy, thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, before we begin, we will appreciate you introducing yourself to our viewers. Okay, hi, my name is Vidu Bolukiso and uh, it's a pleasure to have you and your team over. And uh, this is my wonderful assistant, Donli. She has been working with me for the past five years now. In inclusion to that, she also has work experience in Central Colombo Americano, University of Technology Bolivar Cartagena, Honor of Sakura Sushi Restro in Montana de Ecuador, Palotoli School Dimapur, and also Tetsu College Dimapur. And now let us go ahead with the interview. So now, when and how did you begin your entrepreneurial journey? Can you give us a brief history about it? Um, my first entrepreneurial state was quite unexpected. It was by chance, actually. Uh, it's a long story, but I'll make it short. I was traveling in South America, and then I got an opportunity to open a small sushi restaurant in Ecuador. And at that moment, I felt that if I didn't take the opportunity, I would regret it for the rest of my life. So I took the risk, and I'm so glad I did that. From that experience, I was able to see what entrepreneurship can bring. You know, the feel of ownership, flexibility, and uh, the taste of success. Yes. So that gave me an, an idea also that this is something that I could pursue in the future if I want to shift my career. Was living in the business field an easy or tough decision for you? In my point of view, it wasn't difficult. I already had a little bit of experience before, so it wasn't difficult stepping into a different type of environment. Okay. So did your family and friends support you? Yes, absolutely. My family is my support system. I get a lot of support from my family and friends, and they are the people who have helped me with the transition, and it was they made it easy for me. That's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Right. Unlike other family who doesn't support, especially women. You know, yes, I feel so. I feel quite uh, fortunate to have a wonderful and supportive family. We came to know that before you started your ventures, you were working as an assistant professor, which I believe was a very secure and stable job. So, what made you shift to business? So, why did you take to risk? Yes, I totally agree with you. Teaching is a very stable and a secure profession and uh, I think that the most values, valued aspects of teaching is that you have the ability to make a difference in students' lives and I think that is very rewarding as a teacher and I love teaching but I wanted to experience something of my own to create something that I can feel the ownership again and make something that I'm passionate about and that is the reason why I shifted to Business. <laughs> According to the way you provided, you are the owner of this very house community, also the owner of the branch and a photographer. So how do you manage to get all this work done in time? Is it stressful to handle all these three jobs at once? Yes, it gets very stressful and daunting at times and to manage time can also become such a challenge yes. in times when I needed in all my three businesses. But I feel very fortunate as a woman here in Dublin where I am able to do the things that I love and I'm passionate about. I, I feel that in a conventional family, most families prefer their children to do something which is uh, related to government jobs and all that. And I, in times when I get too stressed out, I think about how fortunate I am that I get to do the things that I love. And I think this is something that helps me uh, push through it, the moments of um, struggles and stress. 
talking about stress, can you please uh, share us any obstacles or challenges that you have faced in your career journey? And what have you learned from those? In my journey as an entrepreneur, I have faced many struggles and failures also. Uh, there are problems that we can anticipate in advance, but there are a few things that you don't know when and how it's coming, like the pandemic that hit uh, a year ago. And uh, in times like that, I, we are not trained to, we are not ready, since we are not ready, we are not trained to tackle such situation. But then having a strong will and having a positive attitude allowed me to move past that. Yes. In the context of um, the state where we are sitting right now, Nagaland, what do you think is or has been the most challenging part being a woman entrepreneur? Okay, in my business with uh, this clothing store and food, I think it's not gender specific, so I wouldn't say I face issues with this one as an entrepreneur. But um, being a female photographer here in Nagaland, yes. mainly it's a male dominated uh, profession. Yeah. So at first, during the initial stage of my career as a photographer, I felt quite inferior and I felt that I had to work harder than the guys and go the extra mile to uh, prove myself that I can be also taken seriously as a photographer. So those kind of things um, had something that I experienced during my journey as a female photographer and it saddens me that uh, there are still some people who has this preconceived notion that um, photography is a man's job. Yes. Yes. And uh, I feel that we should not discriminate in any profession, being it a male or female, because as a photographer, we're, we're everyone is just trying to make a living from the craft we love. So yeah, that is something that I should mention. Feeling inferior as a female photographer in Zimbabwe in Atlanta. A real model like setting up a business or running a business is not only about getting a profit but also about providing job opportunities. So can you tell me how many number of employees do you have? I have my I have Tony, my sales assistant at the boutique, and then I also have another uh, lady working for me in my home kitchen business. Uh, she is a yes at Labran. She is a uh, she's a mom, and I'm training her to become a social chef. So most of them are women. Yes, all women. <laughs> women yes. Are women. yes. <laughs> Do you look only for experienced worker, or you even offer jobs to the freshers? Mm, I don't necessarily look for a, an experienced person. Uh, as long as the person has a good attitude someone who is willing to work hard and um, who can handle stress. I hire most people based on that instead of having the experience and stuff. Okay. Uh, so do you provide any kind of training for your employees? Yes, um, I am currently training one uh, freshly graduate student to become a photographer. I take her to weddings and she's yes. helping me uh, set up and um, setting up props and things like that and she is also training to become a professional photographer. So you are giving the training? Yes, yes. Do you have one, so. <laughs> okay. I'm really curious about this question. Do you have any role models? And if so, who and how has that person affected your career decision? Uh, I don't have any specific role model, okay. but I get inspired a lot by my friends who are working really hard and especially on uh, social media like Instagram. I'm, I made a lot of friends this year who are food bloggers and uh, selling thrift clothes online and they are doing extremely well. I'm so happy for them and also farming, you know, different types of professions that these women are doing and working hard for it. and. They are my inspiration. They inspired me a lot in my work. Uh, so, ma'am, are you aware of any government subsidies or scheme uh, for women business owners? Have you availed any of this? I have not availed any loans or funds from the government because I am not aware of it. Uh, 
maybe it has to do with our education, how we were brought up, because we were not taught to be aware of these kind of things. And um, one organization that I know of is uh, Entre Entrepreneurs Associated in Kukima. They are providing trainings to youth and uh, potential entrepreneurs. They are also involved in giving loans to uh, farmers, street vendors, and people who can't avail loan from the bank to start their business. Yeah. As a woman entrepreneur who owns and handles multiple ventures, what advice would you like to give to women who wants to start her own business? Okay, those who want to start their own business, I would advise them to start start right away because there is no such thing as the right moment when it comes to business. And uh, I started small and doing research and studying the profile of my customers, I'm able to grow according to that. So if you have the idea to go forward, I would advise them to do it as soon as possible because <clears throat> it's a competitive environment we're living in now and those who have the idea will find a better means to start your business. So if you have the idea, then you don't have to wait for a big moment or a big investment and all that, but you can start small and uh, start right away. Uh, so can you give some key activities that you would like to recommend the entrepreneurs to invest your time in? Um, I would say time is the most essential commodities we have and with business we trade with time. So like I said earlier, if you have a plan and idea to start a business, you should you must start right away and once you have the business running it is important to make sure that you provide a professional and quality uh, service to your customers yes. that way you're you're able to see you're able to stay relevant and um, have your credibility intact as a business person so that is something that i would advise them to do mm. being an entrepreneur what do you enjoy the most i love being an entrepreneur <laughs> i love the freedom uh, of having the ability to do whatever I want yes. and being my own boss is something that I enjoy the most yeah. and uh, I take great pride in knowing that I started something from nothing you know so that is something that I'm very proud of and I enjoy doing that uh, so uh, like I personally really like this question okay, like, if you were given a chance to start your career all over again like right from the beginning and what will you do differently? Well, I think that's a paradox. Mm -hmm. If that's like going back in time with the ideas I have right now, that, that might not apply in that moment and situation. But if I were given a chance to go back and do it differently, I would um, use my time wisely because I felt that I could have achieved much more with the time that I had and I didn't make use of the time. So that is something that I would do it differently to um, make use of my time and do it wisely. We are coming to an end. So what do you want to achieve next? There are many things that I still want to achieve and I'm doing that step by step. Yes, so it's like a surprise for us. Yes, <laughs> there are so many things that I want to achieve. Lastly, can you show us your success in traffic areas? In the last few decades, Naglan was a uh, survival society and women were confined to a domestic space. But then now in this modern times, we are witnessing a lot of women rising up in terms of uh, entrepreneurship and leadership and they are able to break barriers and achieve great heights of success. And they inspire us to let, uh, they inspire us in a way that gender should not be an obstacle to us and in and in achieving our dreams this doesn't um, apply entirely to me as an entrepreneur but it applies to other people as well that if we want to achieve um, our, our dreams and goals we must be patient and work hard and stay focused in our eyes, you are already a very successful person who you look up to. 
Yeah, I agree with that because uh, I feel like you have become an inspiration for many young entrepreneurs, especially for women and Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And dear viewers out there, if you want to start a venture and be successful like men, men yeah. and like here, uh, always remember, work hard, have a lot of patience and stay focused. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.